Eclipse, the Kingfisher Eclipse um, rod that I keep on talking about. Uh, it's a surf spin uh, medium. Uh, for the occasional angler that wants to fish at the sea as well as in fresh water, um, this is the rod that I recommend you look at. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's got sea guards on it. The action is one of those rods that's got a very fast action but it's got a lot of backbone it's light it's very durable and guys this rod for the occasional angler is absolutely phenomenal especially if you want to use it in fresh water and salt water alike spooning for shad i give it the thumbs up this is my go-to um, rod i like to talk about it a little bit yeah it is very small, very compact. It's a fast action rod. It's very thin at the tip, strong in the base. So bullying big fish is what it does best. Um, I find this rod, if I had to choose one rod to do everything that I had to do, this would be my rod to go to. Um, phenomenal guides, excellent winch. It is absolutely sensitive as far as bite detection goes if you were throwing baits in that. Guys, this is my favorite rod. It definitely gets a double thumbs up. This is the king of all kings as far as the saltest range of spinning rods go. It's a three piece rod, very lightweight, very strong, it's high volume fiber. This is the 11 foot six, you do get a 12 foot six. This is for bullying big fish, guys. Um, if you were going to Mozambique and you wanted some big GTs and you were throwing big heavy uh, Garrick plugs or spoons, this is the rod that you're looking for. K-series guides, it is absolutely phenomenal. All the top quality components that you can get have been put into this rod. And like I say, very small, very compact, very, very strong. Definitely gets a thumbs up from me.